I think one of the prime issues facing us today when it comes to general political awareness of the public is a lack of ideological awareness. If you are unaware of the ideologies and underlying reasons for the actions our leaders and governments take, it is impossible to understand and predict its effects. This is pure ideology. A series I'm going to try and do weekly that explains the underlying ideological underpinnings of the issues facing us today, and in particular, the current pandemic crisis. Two days ago, the White House held a press briefing with Navy Rear Admiral John Polochik, in which the following question was asked. According to governors, and also by the fact that we haven't seen any numbers up there about what is going to the private sector, can you tell us what percentage of the supplies on these large cargo planes are going to private companies versus FEMA versus the state? The reality is that states are currently being forced to engage in a bidding war for personal protective equipment, with larger, more economically powerful states like New York or California easily outcompeting smaller states with smaller budgets. The Rear Admiral went on to respond with the following. So, uh, this product that we're moving is primarily uh, commercial product that would enter the commercial system and be distributed through uh, financial business transactions between hospitals and these distributors. That's not only how things work, right? So I'm, I'm not here to disrupt uh, uh, a, a supply chain. Say, look, these, these six distributors, six, seven, they have six to 700 warehouses. They have trucks to go to the hospital door every day. We're bringing product in. They're filling orders for hospitals, nursing homes, like normal. What the Rear Admiral is really doing here is 100% in line with established neoliberal laissez-faire ideological thought. The Encyclopedia Britannica states the following on neoliberalism. Neoliberalism is often characterized in terms of its belief in sustained economic growth as the means to achieve human progress, its confidence in free markets as the most efficient allocation of resources, its emphasis on minimal state intervention in economic and social affairs, and its commitment to the freedom of trade and capital. The key words being most efficient allocation. The reason the administration does not want to directly distribute the goods to the states is because normally this product, during normal times, would enter the private sector and then be distributed via market forces to the states with need, being determined by the individual state's willingness to pay the most. The underlying assumption, economically, is that the market will distribute these goods efficiently. As he says, he is not there to disrupt a supply chain, as this would directly contradict the premise upon which American government functions. Neoliberalism does not bother itself with the reality that sometimes cash on hand is not always proportional with need, and therefore it argues the fact that the smaller states are incapable of paying the prices necessary. Similar to how private enterprise treats individuals as customers unwilling to pay, private corporations are doing the same with entire states, and the government, pursuant to neoliberal thought, is uninterested in breaking that business as usual.